Hello, my name is Gianluca Cirone and I am in second year at the moment in Trachea University studying veterinary medicine. There are two types of learning formats that you can expect when arriving at Trachea University. It is split into lectures and practical activities. So lectures take place with a larger group in a lecture setting and covers mostly theoretical work, whereas practical are in smaller groups in a lab or dissection room, for example, where you are doing more hands-on practical learning. From the beginning, you will be assigned into your relevant group. And if you wish, you may change groups. I have seen students changing their groups just so they can be with their friends, for example, and be in that environment that they're more comfortable in. This would obviously have to be taken up with the administrator. However, from first year, I have remained in the same group and the structure seems to remain the same. In the English program of uh, Truckee University Veterinary Faculty, we do have quite a large um, variety of students from different places. We have many Greek students. We have students from Norway, from Finland, from Sweden, Spain, Italy. It's a very nice and diverse group. We are about 12, 10 to 12 people per individual group, and there are four groups. So you can say that your, our year at present contains not many more than 60 people at most, I'd say. And you will definitely have opportunities to socialize with other members of the group. Um, lecturers take place with everyone together and then the practicals will take place in your individual groups. The practical classes, for example anatomy, is quite hands-on where you get to view dissections of cadavers. We haven't worked with any live animals yet, it's definitely too early, that you can expect third year or after where you are doing clinical work on live animals. So first semester of first year, we studied genetics, which is basic, basic genetics and animal genetics. The exams for my first year were all online, so it was typically in the format of a multiple choice questionnaire. Genetics was very similar to what I experienced in any first year of a science degree in university. Uh, if you have a working knowledge from high school, genetics, if you've done that in biology class, you will be good. They'll build upon that knowledge. But the lecturer in particular for the subject is very good, speaks excellent English, and is very informative. Studying for genetics um, is very similar to studying for most of the subjects. It's all a lot of theory-based learning. That varies on students. If you prefer, you make notes from the lecture slides, but all studying is done from the lecture slides. Your teachers can provide you even with practice tests, practice questions, and give you a general overview of what you need to know. Another subject that you have in first year is only takes up half of your semester. It is zoology. This focuses on animal diversification and taxonomy. Zoology is one of a few, how can you say, quarter, quarterly semester subject. So it will only take half of a semester and you will write your exam shortly after you finish the content. This content is also just memorizing and learning work and you focus on taxonomy in the exam. Taxonomy is then the evolutionary diversification of animals and this will then require you to memorize the different classifications of animals. For example, their genus, the species, domain, family, phylum and such other things. My zoology project near the end of the course was Panthera paradis, so we each got assigned an animal, Pantheropardus, of course, being a leopard. We each had to describe our particular species' own evolutionary taxonomy. And 
basically human animal interaction. Another subject you will have in first semester is ecology. It's a very easy, very fun topic. It is focusing obviously on the relationship between living organisms and their environment. Another subject, a very important subject, and I would say one of the more challenging subjects of your first year is medical chemistry. This you will definitely have to make a note of and study very consistently. Study the subject very consistent, consistently, revise a lot and pay good attention in class. It's a lot more content and you will have a practical exam as well as a theoretical exam. With medical chemistry, a lot like the other subjects, you are required to study from the lecture slides and make notes from them. With assistance, I often, if I struggle to understand a particular topic, I do go to YouTube and, for example, I use the source Khan Academy in particular. Another subject is cytology, histology and embryology. It is a very nice subject. It takes place over the course of two semesters. It has a lot to do with microscopy and has a very nice practical component where you will be analyzing different tissues, co uh, cultures and cells here in the microscopy lab. For cytology, histology and embryology, the exam took place online uh, with a multiple choice format. This was because of the um, virus, so it may be different to the future students. However, our year didn't find it particularly hassling. It was easy, straightforward, and a very interesting subject. A very important subject that you will begin in your first year is anatomy. You must definitely study this from start to finish, constantly revising and study this subject con consistently. There's a lot to remember. There are so many things, so many systems that you will have to commit to memory. Uh, it is taught in a theoretical lecture as well as a practical component which will happen in the dissection room with cadavers. For anatomy, other than listening to your lectures and trying to pre-read before dissections, which will really help you a lot, having a working knowledge of whatever you are focusing on at that time prior to your dissection will help you greatly in committing those different things to memory. It's a lot to remember. I personally use a YouTube channel called Veterinary Anatomy and it is of great help. That and studying from the textbooks. Another subject is Latin where you will learn Latin with a medical relevance basically. This is usually done in a classroom format with a teacher unless of course prohibited by the, uh, the virus. Latin, like learning any other language, is also just repetition and it can be challenging, it can definitely be challenging. But in the whole scheme of all your subjects, I would say it doesn't pose a very large worry. In first year, you will also do Bulgarian language. I am in second year at the moment, we only have one lecture a week, but you can expect to have two lectures a week where you practicing with a teacher in a classroom environment. It is very interactive and wherever you can, it's definitely recommended to practice outside of the classroom as well. The Bulgarian exam has multiple formats. It includes multiple choice and an oral examination. You will receive a textbook in Bulgarian where you study the language and you can read and revise. You are given the opportunity to take notes in class as you go through it with the teacher. I've personally found the Bulgarian language quite difficult. The, the consonants, the vowel sounds, a lot of it are, is almost a tongue twister to me. Uh, and strangely, like a lot of the words sound quite similar. So I uh, definitely don't don't be too hard on yourself if you mix words around at first. Another subject is history of veterinary medicine. It's also a short subject, 
this is basically an overview of the evolution of veterinary medicine throughout history and throughout different cultures. Very interesting and not a terribly challenging exam. History of veterinary medicine isn't a typical subject that I would expect, I would have expected to see, but it was definitely enlightening and quite interesting. Along with all the other subjects that I will have mentioned, it is quite common to near the end of the semester or the end of that particular course, you will provide presentations. You will basically create a lecture on a given topic and present said lecture to your class. In history of veterinary medicine, for example, my presentation was veterinary medicine in ancient Rome. So also very interesting to see how very much like human medicine, veterinary medicine evolved a lot alongside it. Arriving at this university, I was very surprised to see that physical education was a compulsory subject and was included in our learning experience. Very, very fun. We have about two, for the first year and the second year, you have two physical education lessons per week, each around two hours long. And I definitely won't forget first arriving to this university, finding out we have physical education, the surprise of that, and that the whole class was given a mountain bike to ride around the hill just behind the university. I must say, Truckee University is a very, very nice looking university in a very nice location. Grading in physical education has not really too much to do with, you know, of course, individual physical ability. It's more of your participation and general attitude towards team sports and whatever activities we are engaging in. The typical physical education lesson um, varies. We are often changing and trying different sports as a group. Other um, topics in first year include also botany, which is a short, a short course in your second semester. That and biophysics, which is basic physics, I would say. The exam for botany wasn't too challenging, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Another subject is animal husbandry, again with a very good lecturer. It is a very interesting subject to see animal rearing and animal care, and also touches a little bit on animal breeding techniques and other specific, specific parts therein. My experience here in Trakia for both first year and second year is that the workload is not an unbearable amount. It definitely provides you a lot of free time to enjoy a healthy and balanced lifestyle. You do not have to lock yourself away all day and study just to stay afloat. Depending on how you, hard you work, how well you manage your time, will influence a lot in just how well you perform. But I was very surprised and relieved to see that the workload is quite manageable and comfortable. The subjects in first year that I find most challenging and will require the most dedication and focus is anatomy, medical chemistry, and cytology, histology, and embryology because both that and anatomy. So anatomy, cytology, histology and embryology will only be built upon. So as you go forward, you will need that knowledge going forward. Chemistry, you won't continue it. You will only change to biochemistry, but it is a lot of work. It's not too easy to understand and you should definitely commit extra time to study chemistry. Studying veterinary medicine, you definitely have to find what works best for you as an individual. So there's going to be a lot of studying. You can expect a lot of studying. So definitely, if you haven't already, experiment with study techniques for different subjects. Different subjects will require different study techniques. For example, chemistry, I would study alone for that. I would make notes and try and memorize what needed to be remembered. Anatomy, I study with my friends and my roommates. 
we test each other and we try and make it interesting to get through the bulk content and enjoy it a little bit more because it is a large content. So find what works best for you, experiment with different study techniques and do what works for you, definitely. The most interesting subject for me personally is still anatomy. It is really amazing to see how complex this world of veterinary medicine is, like what we are diving into. The grading system here in Bulgaria is on a scale of two to six, with two being a fail, six being an excellent score, and three being the pass mark. That and you, your whole student record is recorded by the lecturers. They keep it, the, the record, but you yourself must have a little book which you will receive coming to this university, that is your student book. All your grades will be recorded in a student book. The student book will be kept by you. You go to each individual lecturer and they will write your mark into the student book. It is your whole student history and you will basically need this. You will keep your student book for the whole duration of your study in veterinary medicine in this university. You receive your grades from your lecturers, either they will tell you your grade in person or you will go to them at the appropriate time where your grade, your final grade will be written in your student book. General tips for first year and studying veterinary medicine, university in general is always been, for me, everything in moderation. Find what works for you, find a balance and enjoy all the small things. Enjoy the little things wherever you can. Find something that you like and dedicate some time to it. So anyone interested in coming to study in Bulgaria, it's a good option if veterinary is really for you. And should you make this decision, I personally would definitely recommend going through Interhex. It really helps having someone on your side, knowing how things work, putting mind at rest, dealing with paperwork because it can definitely be a large challenge taking on all of this on your own. The assistance with preparing the documents, the contact with the university is a great help because of course the language barrier can be troublesome. So having Interhex assist with this, assisting with um, accommodation, providing information on student life and all these little things, it definitely takes a lot off your, off your mind. I hope this video has been useful for anyone considering applying to Truckee University and studying in Stata Zagora. I have enjoyed it and I'm sure you will too.